Hey guys, I was facing this problem with my personal portfolio that I'm sure other people were experiencing. So the idea is I have this stock or this investment that I own and I have this large capital gain on and I'm wondering if it's a good idea to sell it now, realize those capital gain taxes and then invest the proceeds in some other investment or whether it would be better to just leave that money in the current investment. So I built out this Excel spreadsheet here where let's say this is hypothetical. Let's say your investment starts at $50,000. That's what you bought it for at the time you bought it. Then it grew to a current value of 100,000. You could put in whatever your actual numbers are. So our unrealized gains will be the amount by which our investment grew. So it would be the 100,000 minus the initial 50,000 that we started with. Now I'm looking at this situation where let's say if I realize these long-term capital gains now, what would the tax rate be? Well, I put in this uh, little tax bracket example here. This is in the uh, current year that I'm in right now. This might have changed if you're watching this video some distant time into the future, but um, I'm just assuming that right now I'm in this 15% tax bracket here and I'll remain in that 15% tax bracket even in the future like 10 years from now. You know, it'd be cool to maybe go up a tax bracket, but let's be realistic here. So I'm just putting 15% for both. If you know that you're going to be in a different tax bracket from one time period now versus, you know, some point in the future where you're thinking about ending this overall investment scenario entirely, you could put in the different long-term cap gains tax rates. So then I also have down here some expected rate of return. This one is for the current investment. And then let's say if I sold out of this investment and put it in a different one, what would be the tax rate or sorry, what would be the rate of return on that new investment? So this one's a new investment. I'm just going to start off saying both are 7%. So if we expect to get the same rate of return on either investment, I'd be curious to see which one ends up making us more money if we realize and pay the cap gains now and then hold for 10 years and then realize the cap gains, or if we just keep it in the same investment and then at the end of 10 years, we sell and realize the cap gains taxes. What are we better off doing? So we've got these two scenarios. The first one is realize the profits now and reinvest. That's scenario one. So what would really be our starting value with that? Well, we would be starting off with basically what we have, the current value, the $100,000, but we have to subtract out the amount that we're going to pay in taxes right now. So the amount we're going to pay in taxes right now is going to be equal to the unrealized gains. So we have to pay taxes on that. And how much taxes do we have to pay on that? Well, it would really be the long-term cap gains tax rate right now, which is this 15%. So we'd have our 100K and then we'd pay 7,500 in taxes. And then we would just, after we paid that tax, we'd have 92,500 left to reinvest in whatever new asset we're gonna reinvest in. Whereas in this other scenario, uh, realize the profits at the very end, we're just gonna keep it in the same investment. We're gonna keep the ball rolling and we're gonna stay in $100,000 uh, for our in initial starting value for that scenario. So at the end of year one, what would this value be worth in the first scenario? Well, it would be equal to, the amount we had at the starting value multiplied by one plus, and this is how we're gonna calculate how much our investment grew by, the new investment's expected rate of return, because this is the scenario where we're doing a new investment. And then we can put this to just the X, actually, that should be fine. That gives us, so we start off with 92,500, it grows to this value. But how would we find out how much it's going to grow in year two? That would be equal to this value that we had at the end of year one times one plus, and then this expected rate of return on the new investment. And we can hit F4 to lock that in so that we can drag this down. And we'll find that at the end of 10 years, before we sell and we realize that cap gains the next time, that we have $181,962. 
Now we can do the same thing for this scenario where we take the initial 100,000 starting value, we multiply it by one plus, and then for this one, we're going to use the expected rate of return on the current investment. So let's hit enter there. Our 100,000 grows to 107,000. Now for the uh, end of year two value, it's just gonna be the end of year one value multiplied by one plus expected rate of return on the current investment because we never entered into the new investment. We can hit F4 to lock that in so that we can drag it down. And then we'll see that this is going to grow to a value of 196,715. But keep in mind that we still need to pay cap gains taxes on both of these. Now the amount we have to pay in cap gains taxes on scenario one is going to be less because we realized those initial, the initial 50,000 of cap gains tax earlier on so let's see what is our ending value for both after we calculate our taxes. So for this one, we're actually, we have this much at the end. What we really started with is going to be this 92,500 because this is after we realized the first cap gains at the very beginning when we sold the initial asset. And then we need to multiply by that cap gains tax rate in the future of 15%. So for this one, we're gonna end up paying $13,419 of cap gains tax here. And then for this one, we're going to pay cap gains tax of, this is our ending value. We never paid our realized uh, unrealized gains of 50,000 on this one. So instead of using this starting value, we really use the original starting value of 50,000. Then we'll multiply by the long-term cap gains tax rate in the future and hit enter. So this one, we're going to pay 22,000 in long-term cap gains tax now. So now our ending value is going to be where we ended at minus the taxes we have to realize. And then we can do that for the other scenario too. So now we'll see that we actually end up with more money at the end with scenario two, where instead of realizing the cap gains at the beginning and then entering into a new investment, we just realize it all at the end. So mathematically, if we expect the rates of return to be the same for either investment, we're better off just holding for longer periods of time if we don't need the money right away in this investment. And that's just a mathematical truth. Now, what if we really were more bullish on this other asset, right? Like we wanted to sell out of a current asset and get into the new asset because we are just expecting the new asset to perform so much better. Well, how much better would the new asset actually have to perform? Well, this is a optimization question. So we can go to this data tab up here, right click, hit customize the ribbon, then go to add-ins, make sure Excel add-ins is there, hit go, and then enable this solver add-in and hit okay. And now solver is gonna pop up. Let's hit solver there. So we wanna set our objective and I hit F20. So F20 is the ending value for scenario one. We want it to set it to a value of, and then I put in the value that scenario two had as its ending value, $174,707.87. So we want to see what rate of return for the new investment will get us to an equal ending value. So we're going to change the variable cell C11, which is the expected rate of return of the new investment of 7%, and then we'll hit solve and okay. And then we find that the new investment actually has to outperform the current investment by 0.42% per year, just to get us back to an ending value. So you're really betting on the outperformance of the new investment by a decent margin to just end up with the same dollar value at the very end. So for me, when I did this exercise personally, what I came to the conclusion of is if I'm not really that certain that this new investment's gonna be that much better than the current investment, it's better off to really just not realize the cap gains now and just hold that investment until I really need that money for whatever reason. You can download the file that I created for free in this video by hitting the link in the description or the pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content just like it. Thank you.